Cartoon recaps here. Today I will be recapping the movie called The King's Clay Fantasy. Spoilers ahead, relax and enjoy. The movie begins in a kingdom called Lucas, where a magical ring is kept. This powerful ring was given to the king of Lucas by the gods to rule the kingdom and protect the kingdom from harm. And the king utilizes its powers by creating a barrier to shield the kingdom from invading enemies. Few years ago, Prince Noctis of Lucas is being taken by his father, King Regis, to a nearby kingdom known as Tenebrae, so he can heal his son, who is suffering from a very terrible injury. Unfortunately, the Tenebrae kingdom gets attacked by an enemy empire called the Niflheim armies. This army is led by General Glauca, who manages to kill the Queen of Tenebrae during the invasion. King Regis attempts to flee with his crippled son along with the Princess of Tenebrae called Luna Freya, but she decided to stay not wanting to leave her brother behind, they are both captured and became subjects of the Niflheim's rule. Twelve years later, King Regis decided to assemble a force of mighty warriors, so they can defend the Lucas borders from the attacks of the Niflheim armies, who has thousands of unnatural monsters tamed for military use. The battle between Lucas armies and the Niflheim armies begins. The movie centers on a soldier called Nix, a soldier who is among the Kingsclave. The Kingsclave armies is a group of soldiers created by the king, which is a combination of refugees and people who have lost their homes because of the attacks of the Niflheim armies. Nick's family was among the people that was killed by the Niflheim armies, but he was rescued and given a new purpose in life, thanks to King Regis, whom he pledges his loyalty to. The Kingsclave are given extraordinary weapons, which gives them magical powers to fight the Niflheim armies. But unfortunately for them, the Niflheim army started to overpower them by unleashing a very dangerous monster called the Demon, Seeing they won't be able to defend themselves from such gigantic monsters, they are ordered to retreat by the commander. During their escape back to the borders, Nick sees his friend Libertus about to be killed by the demon monster, and defies the king's orders upon going back to save his friend. He battles with the demon, but no matter the kind of effort he puts in the fight, he is still no match for the large beast. But fortunately for them Nick successfully saves his friend, and they both joins the other armies as they head back to the empire. The king's clave commander delivers the bad news to the king concerning their defeat, which scares the king knowing if the Niflheim armies invade them again, they will be conquered. Later on the Chancellor Arden of Niflheim arrives as an ambassador, to meet King Regis, who admires his bravery for coming to their kingdom alone. Even though they are great enemies, the Chancellor relays the message of his emperor who wants to make peace with them. But the condition of a peace treaty is King Regis must surrender all the territories and Lucas to the Niflheim Empire. Secondly, his son, Prince Noctis, must get married to the Princess of Tenebrae, Lunafreya. The Kingsclave members meet at a bar, where they have fun together. They are also troubled on why the Chancellor of Niflheim visited their king. King Regis holds a meeting among his officials on the decision he must make. Some advises him to agree on the peace treaty because they believe it might be their safest cause of action. But the others begs him not to surrender believing the Emperor of Niflheim might have other evil intentions. But King Regis realizing the consequences of the war with Niflheim decided to agree to their peace treaty and conditions. The Kingsclave members after hearing the news become so disappointed on the king's decision, because it means the king will be abandoning their families under the Niflheim rule. A girl called Crow who is a member of Kingsclave is being called out, and is sent on a mission by their commander to infiltrate Tenebrae, so they can help Princess Lunafreya escape where the Emperor of Niflheim won't be able to find her. But as Princess Lunafreya proceeds on her plan in escaping, she is stopped by her brother Rabbis, who blames King Regis for their mother's death instead of Niflheim Empire. Crow is on her way to Tenebrae, but she is killed by an unknown assassin on the way. The news of Crow's death later got to Nix and Libertus. As Libertus goes in to see the dead body for himself, he angrily renounces himself as a King's Glaive member, blaming King Regis for sending her to her death, and later joins a group of Lucian rebels. A party is held for the peace treaty between the Lucas Kingdom and the Niflheim Empire. Here we see the Niflheim Emperor for the first time, who is known as Edelis Aldercap. He meets with King Regis and they both discuss. Princess Lunafreya meets with Nix, to know why Crow didn't make it in time to help her escape. Until Nix informs her about Crow death, which she feels so sorry about. Later on Lunafreya is kidnapped by the Niflheim general called Baka, the man who killed her mother. During the signing day for the peace treaty, the Emperor of Niflheim, Edelis Aldercap, arrives as early as possible for the treaty. And King Regis also prepares himself too for the treaty. Suddenly, Nix gets informed that Princess Lunafreya is nowhere to be found. 
Feeling something fishy about all these he goes into further investigation only to find out that Niflheim has already stationed their armies outside their city. Which means the Emperor of Niflheim is scheming something really bad. He quickly hurries into the king's palace to warn him on what the Emperor of Niflheim is scheming against them. Immediately he hears this he started to prepare himself ahead by firstly instructing Nix to take the other king's glade members to find and save Lunafreya. While he will deal with the Niflheim Emperor by planning on putting him in custody. Nix quickly gathers the entire King's Glade members, and they all equip themselves, and head forward on their mission to save the princess. The King's Glade members successfully infiltrated the basement where the princess is held. But unfortunately for them the Emperor of Niflheim was one step ahead of them, as it set traps for the people who would come to the princess rescue. Before the king is able to take action against the Niflheim Emperor evil scheme, it becomes too late for them as the Emperor started to launch an attack on the city, with the aim of conquering Lucas. In process of rescuing the princess, all the Kingsclave members are killed by a giant octopus set by the Niflheim Emperor. Only Nix and the princess were able to make it out there alive. Meanwhile the Niflheim Emperor sends his general, Glocka, to kill the king, and assist in conquering Lucas. It turns out that the king magic is now weak, and no matter how he tried, he is no match for the Niflheim general. Niflheim armies are finally able to enter the Lucas kingdom, and the people of Lucas are subsequently massacred. Lunafreya and Nix reaches Lucas just in time just as King Regis is battling with the Niflheim general. During the fight the Niflheim general cuts out the powerful magical ring away from Regis' hand. Ravis who has hated King Regis from childhood tries to put on the ring to claim the powers for himself, but the ring rejected him and burns his arm, until he is able to pull the ring out. Nix, Lunafreya and Regis are able to take back the ring and escapes from the Niflheim general who is in pursuit of them. The king realizes that without the ring powers, the surviving members of the king's glaive, and all those related to him will lose their magical abilities, making them powerless against Niflheim's attack. Nix is really angry at Regis for giving up and allowing the destruction of Lucas, but later agrees to follow the king's orders by taking Lunafreya and the ring out of the city. Lunafreya begs Regis to join them on the escape, but he forces them to leave him behind, so he can hold off the Niflheim general while they escape. The Niflheim general confronts the king and after a long fight between them, Niflheim general kills King Regis. Nix and Lunafreya are on their escape, until they suddenly gets ambushed by Niflheim war machines. Princess Lunafreya explains to Nix that the reason they are after them is because of the magical ring, which was given to her by King Regis, which has great powers. During the attack, Princess Lunafreya wants to make use of the ring powers, so she can stop the Niflheim soldiers but she is afraid because whoever isn't deemed worthy is not allowed to wear the ring. Like what happened to her brother, Rabbis, from earlier. They are able to make their escape but they get ambushed by a soldier called Lazarus, who is a member of the King's Clave, but recently betrayed them by joining the Niflheim Empire. Lazarus beats up Nix and chases the princess with the aim of taking the magical ring from her. He grabs the ring from her and as he wears it, the ring burns him to death. The worst of all is when Libertus arrives at the scene, and exposes the commander of the king's glaive identity. It turns out that their commander all these while is the general of the Niflheim Empire, who was really the one that sent Crow to her death, and made them blamed it on the king. As Niflheim general is about to kill them all, Nix quickly grabs the ring from the princess and wears it only to be transported to the spirit realm, where he is confronted by the spirits of the past kings. They rejected his offer on having access to the magical ring powers, believing he is unworthy to claim his powers. But when the spirits realizes that if they don't grant him the powers of the ring, it will fall into the hands of the Niflheim Empire. They then decided to grant him access to the ring's powers. But due to he is unworthy, his price for accessing the ring powers will warrant his life in exchange. Nix returns back to the Earth realm in time, and uses the ring to defend a coming blow from the Niflheim general. Nix returns the ring back to the princess and hands her over to Libertus' care, instructing them to flee, while he faces the Niflheim general. Although they are hesitant to live him alone to die, but sadly, it is a sacrifice Nix must make for the sake of the kingdom. With the borrowed powers from the ring, Nix engages in a titanic battle with the Niflheim general. And after a long fight, Nix finally subdues and injures the Niflheim general. But he later dies, as a payment of using the ring's power. He dies wishing Princess Lunafreya will successfully find Prince Noctis, and they will both rule the Lucas kingdom into a bright future. As Libertus successfully takes the princess out of the city, she tells him to stay behind, while she goes to find Prince Noctis on her own. Thank you for watching guys, if you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel, and keep watching. Bye.